So this video is the Banana Moonshine Revisited. So this banana syrup moonshine is pretty much the same as what I did in my other video. Started off with 450 grams of granulated white sugar, 500 milliliters of water. That should make over 600 ml of syrup and I only need 560 ml. Uh, there's about six real nice ripe bananas and then also in the mix later on we shall add the 450 ml of 90% neutral spirit there. So this is nice and easy to make the syrup, put the water into your pan, put the sugar into your pan, heat it up, stir it now and again to make sure it doesn't stick to the base and just let it boil away for about 5-10 minutes. And after that just turn off the heat, cover it and let it cool right down. So this time I had a little bit more focus on chilling the syrup down as opposed to the other batches. So the 560 ml of syrup went into the fridge for about 24 hours and then I took it out and added the six bananas and then also the 450 ml of the 90% alcohol to make it up to a litre of 40% ABV. So this is 24 hours later of the banana syrup moonshine. And I shall strain this off now, check the quantities, and we shall see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like now. It's not too bad, really. So um, I'll let that drip through for a few more minutes. And then uh, I'll bottle it up. So here's the end result of the banana syrup moonshine. Um, I guess technically it is a banana liqueur. Um, but this one here, this is a batch number one that I did in another video. And I seem to think that I put the bananas into a slightly warm syrup, which uh, may be why the bananas started to break down. Uh, because after a while, the uh, fruit pulp seemed to settle on the bottom about 50-50. So we had all fruit pulp down here and a nice clear product at the top. Um, but anyway, I've shaken this up and it would be going into shot glass number one. Batch number two. Um, some of the alcohol fairies might have descended on this bottle. But anyway, batch number two, where I seem to remember that I put into a slightly cooled syrup, uh, let it settle, and then strained it as well. So that's come out quite clear. But that'll be going into shot glass number two batch number three it, which is what this video is about um i've let this settle for maybe over a week and there was some fruit pulp in the bottom which i've decanted into this bottle here so the semi-clear product of batch number three will be going into shot glass number three and the fruit pulp from batch number three, we'll be going into shot glass number four. Mm, so let's get on with a little bit of tasting, shall we? So here I am back again after a quick taste test. Um, I'm not too finicky about stuff. I don't go around going, oh, 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 the bouquet on this one is, reminds me reminiscent of running naked through daisies on a summer's day. And, and no, I don't do that very much. Um, my taste range is a very narrow one at the beginning where I don't really like whatever it is I'm tasting or drinking and then a massive broadband of stuff that is yeah nice which I like and then a very narrow band at the end of stuff that mm, is absolutely lovely so with that in mind batch number one shook it up and my notes say it came out very banana-y it was 10 out of 10 and not that sweet. It was sweet enough. So that worked fine. Batch number two was the clearer one. Um, I don't know why. It does smell uh, more alcoholic content than the others. Um, but flavour-wise, it was 10 out of 10 again. It's 
This, the aroma was totally different, but the taste seemed to be exactly the same. Still sweet and still pretty banana-y. Go figure. Number three, this one I've got down as being very banana-y. Absolutely on par with this one. 10 out of 10, but more sweeter. It's possibly because this hasn't had as much time to mature as this one, but I've got high hopes for this beastie. And then the dregs, or the fruit pulp, bit surprised over this one I've got was well, sweet but not very banana -y at all can you believe that so with that out of the picture of this one yeah I'm gonna stick with doing this uh, um, recipe and technique from now on it's all drinkable at the end of the day but yeah I'm definitely gonna stick with that one and I am leaning back because the sun is out again for the end of the video, so you know what I'm going to say. Make sure you enjoy the hobby and keep on shining.